we're heading down now to the fort at the bottom of the hill here. See the biggest waves in the world. Not sure if they will be very big today. And it's really misty, so <laughs> see what we can see. Good to see the tuk-tuk still there, in case you really can't face the trip down. Two euros per person. Wow, look at how misty it is. Amazing. And yeah, the music guy is not here now. He must have taken a bit of a break. Yeah, he might be on a summer holidays. Yeah. yeah. Gone to get some nice weather. Screw this, let's go to the Caribbean. <laughs> so last night we were showing Myron Gaz the videos for when we were first here in November last year, and then again in February, March. And the November one, like Lee's perched right on the edge of the cliff. February one, there's like this really thin rope, and we've come back now in August and. Then put this big fence up so no one can go down there. Which is, yeah, a lot safer, of course, but I don't know. I think Lee quite liked perching on the edge last time. Having lunch in Sitio in El Terreiro, I think the place is called, and this is the soup of the day spinach, two euros. <laughs> Quite sort of creamy, delicious. Right in the plaza near the church. It was heaving when we first arrived, so it's always a good sign. Loads of locals. We're just waiting for the Prato Stradia, and at the moment I've got my soup, my croissant mista, croissant with delicious ham and cheese toasted, the cheese is melted. And look at what Gaz has got. Look at this, Gaza. Nutella and strawberry. Nutella and strawberry, that's amazing. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, I will be. <laughs> so I think it's so lovely, like Gaza's discovered galals, he really likes them. And Ma, what do you think of the, the Sagresh non alcoholic beer? It's quite nice, it smells nice too. Mm. So you had super bottle yesterday, which do you prefer? Yeah. Oh, the Sagresh, yeah, because I mean, I'm the Sagresh drinker. Mm. Lee likes the Super Bot, but yeah. it's good. You'd have to have the one beside the other. Do the proper taste But this is nice. I'd buy this one again. And this is our main course plate the um, bacalao. What is it, Matt? I thought it was like Naforno or something like that Naforno. in the oven. Yeah, so it's bacalao with chickpeas. How about that? And eggs. <laughs> Mm. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So what do you think, Ma? Have you tried it? Look pretty nice. Well, I've finished mine. These are my plates. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was absolutely delicious. Like, I can't believe the size of the portion. This place is amazing. I'll definitely come back here. Excellent. Mm. Gaza, how is your... Brilliant. Oh. It's really brilliant. It's a full meal instead of just a snack. Yeah. Oh. No, great. That's yeah. so cool. Ma, how's your bacalhau? Yep, good. It was a little bit big, the portion of the chickpeas was a little big for me. Okay. Uh, they were eaten by men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Pretty good trouble yeah. tip. Just going for a walk around the beach, something I've never seen before. They're actually like tapping the gum on a pine tree. It's so cool. It smells amazing. Not too sure what it's for. Because it's a lovely sunny day, we're heading down to Praia do Norte. But we're taking a stroll first through Picnic Park. That's not the official name. You see the wind farm over there. It's so lovely to see this all being used because the last time we came through we put it in a video and it was all grey and empty and this is lovely. Oh, it's Something smells amazing as well. It's so cool to come to the Parque Aquatico, to Nor Park, and actually see it open. Because of course when we came in November it wasn't, nor in February, March. Oh, it's all nice and clean. Oh, look at that. Because of course we always thought that it would make a great um, setting for a horror movie. Oh, wonderful. It's actually really big. Oh my word, I didn't realise it went all the way up there. How cool. It's a great place to come for the kids. Tickets are adults all day 14.50, half day 12.50, kids day 12.50, half a day 10.50. Half day is from 2pm. And it doesn't matter if you don't have a car because there's a little minibus it looks like that goes from the 
cultural centre in Nazareth. Comes directly here between 10.15 or 1.45 and then going back at 7 p.m. 3.50 return, two euros one way. We've actually got a new toilet block here down at Praia do Norte. And of course when we were here last time it was all old and actually this is still the old one. They've just painted it up. Got its toilet paper, oh my word, and it's flushing and it's got a hand basin. Oh, it's just a glorious day. I'm kind of wishing that we'd brought our tugs, actually. Oh my word, dolphins! Just by the green umbrella. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, wonderful. Come into the Algar here to see the rock formation and how this was formed. First time these guys have experienced one of these. What do you think, Gary? I'm impressed, you know, this is just nature. Yeah. Working its best. Beautiful, isn't it? The colours. Yeah, colours to formations, millions of years in front of you. Erosion, yeah. Awesome. It's waxing. Lyrical guys, very yeah. poetic. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't had a drink yet either. <laughs> hey, um, did you say something about seeing water in there, Lee? Yeah, it's still dripping through. Erosion in process. They say watch out for falling rocks, but. Uh, should be okay. Look at the colours and the... Hear it? Yeah. You feel it. <laughs> it's falling on you as we speak. Very cool in here. Very... Yeah. The temperatures just drop. Great. Oh, really quite strange they've cleaned up the wall here and it's shiny and clean and new yet they haven't done the other ones yet and they're all still, still quite dark and, and eventually they'll get around to it I'm sure at least just notice they've put posts in along here and maybe to stop people going through and standing on the edge over there but that's a pity in a way like it was always so nice to stand and look over it's a shiny new sign. Yeah, I've seen a couple of these now. This one saying Galgamento overwash occurrence, and I've never seen any of them say that before. No. Normally it's don't fall in, but obviously they're trying to tell people that the waves can come up this high. This high? Which is pretty high, yeah. Blimmin' egg. How is it, Ma? She's got, Ma's got Feijoada, mm. so nice. excellent. And Gaza has mm. no, three meats. Yum! I think it's four. It's four Gaza. Four. And Lee has the rump steak alcantara with with beans and rice, very Brazilian style. Yay! And puree. Mm. Of course, we've got some piri piri. Oh, Yay! Can you guys see this, why this is our favourite place in Nazareth? Mm. It's a real taste of Brazil in the middle of Portugal. The washing, it's just so quaint. It's out the balcony, put it out, reel it in when it's dry, it's flapping in the wind. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Something we don't get back home, is it? You know? Well, you'll see it on balconies on um, clothes horses, but not strung out on ring on um, wires like this. Yeah, yeah that's so cool. And look what we notice as well, to Mars right. Hey. Oh. Gorgeous Hello. kitty cat. Hello, pretty cat. <laughs> cute. So we're heading now to meet up with Lee and Gazza at the beach. Sardine gorilla. Look at that. Cute. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. And it's just left here, like in the alleyway with the bag of charcoal. Barbecue for Gary and I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah. sleepy little alley. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Just, oh. Yeah, just watching this home for lots of people. Oh, and it smells delicious. Oh, oh my word. Oh. Siesta time. 
But this was, yeah, just one Ellie chosen at random. Please line Jeff to dodge. <laughs> the pie. That's the tiles. Ah, oh, so pretty. And it really makes me wonder, how do they move furniture? Like when they're moving into a new property. Imagine moving a bed or a wardrobe Build or something. Them, we get in there. Yeah. That's it, Ikea. <laughs> Hey, it's Mandy Beach. Yay! Wow. Gloriously sunny Saturday in August. Coming along past the Tremosos and the pistachios and other nuts and things. And now it's time to find Lee and Gaz. Lee said, look at the blue sarong. So let's see how that goes. With the WCs along here, so, uh, where we came up from the beach yesterday. Toilets? I can't quite remember yeah, where the loos oh, were. Okay, we'll have a, a little look if for we, them. If I want to get changed. <laughs> ah, because Marge just bought some swimming togs, a bathing costume. She's going to get changed here. And we're hoping to find Lee and Gaz up this way. I got it slightly wrong. I thought they were way, 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 way down at that very far lifeguard post. So it's Quite telling. Yeah, but that's why we can find the sarongs. You know what I mean? And my word, it's such a great workout for the the calves. But they'll be down this way here somewhere. Yay! I've spotted them. They're just walking back to their sarong. Is Gazza in his orange shorts? Oh my word! Seriously, guys, it's like we're in the middle of a tenement block. So yeah, was there no no more space? And it was when we got here, but we just went in the sea and come back and there's a lot less now. <laughs> Welcome to Nazare in August. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. It's not very noisy, is it? It's not no, like it's quiet, quiet today, quiet. really. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> There's a fair few inches around me here. I know. <laughs> he said there was loads of room when he sat down and then... A couple moved in and then some others moved in. It's like, oh wow, getting blocked in. <laughs> it's all good. It's all lovely. Good. I, lo I like the vibe actually. Yeah. It like, really feels summery and I don't know, everyone's in good spirits. I said earlier, the accents are all like Portuguese and Spanish, you know? Well and truly, yeah. You hear some French occasionally and, and that's about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great vibe. Samara, what do you think? First That's time ever using. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Just go under. When you go I under, mean, it's I'm delicious. No. But your hair's not wet. I know. Look at the gift. It's lovely. Guess <laughs> yeah, the second time at the Atlantic. What do you think? Awesome. Yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? Come back to one of our favourite cafes in Sitio, Cordes and Sabordes, and it's the first time Gary and Shirley have tried a Portuguese Bafana. They've been here a while, and it's their first one, so let's see what they think. Yes. Check it out. And so these are actually quite cool. It's the Bafana, the mm. Bafana's Look. pork steak. Ham. And cheese, cheese. and salad. Mm. All for as three well. euros, very good. Yes, well, because the price is normally three euros, but you get the extras for free. Try it, and Gaz has added something mustard to his. Yeah. Mm. So the thing I love about Bifan is that like, we've tried to have one in Lisbon, but the place was in a too long a queue, didn't it? Yeah, very so, very popular. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great Portuguese lunchtime snack. Mm? Yeah. Yeah. It's mm. good. Really? <laughs> I said over. So what do you think, Mark? It's, yeah, it's nice. It's warm. It's odd. I didn't expect it to be. Ah. Hot. But no, yeah, it's good. I like mm -hmm. it. Wonderful. So I think is it Porto they do it with chili, and in Lisbon they do it with mustard. Yeah, and you get garlic and with the butter sometimes mm. at some places really good. Yeah. And this place, Corus and Saboris, if you come here in the winter, you are likely to bump into one of the world class big wave surfers because they all come down and hang out here. So it's worth coming in. You might. <laughs> see Garrett McNamara or Cotty or one of those guys. Yeah, because it was actually in the documentary, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yeah it's so good. And the people are so nice who run this place. Always really friendly, great English. It's brilliant. For our lovely light lunch, it was 15 euros 60 in total with four coffees, four bifanas. Yeah. So that's like four euros 90 each for a coffee and a bifana. That's pretty good. Four <laughs> ninety each. <laughs> Three ninety each. Yes. Four eight sixteen. Three euros 90 each. Take two. <laughs> Three euros ninety each for a coffee and a bifana. How good is that? Brilliant. This is Ma and Gaz's last full day in Portugal. 
up here in Sitio. Look at the sea mist. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and wow. Today was going to be a beach day. I'm not too sure if we're actually going to be able to go down to the beach. Well, of course we can go down to the beach, but I don't know if we're going to be lying on it. Frugal Traveller's tip is there are great cafes at some of the supermarkets, Continent and Pingo Dos. Pingo Dos tends to be a bit cheaper. Intermarche as well. But so we're going to look at getting a coffee, pastel de nata. Oh, that might be less sugar, I'm not too sure. But they did have some passion fruit ones the other day, but I can't see the sign now. So we're going to check them out. For this quick breakfast before we do some shopping. So we're here at Continent. Practicing a Portuguese morning ritual of pastel de nata and coffee. Yeah, it's a pretty good special, I think. The new lunch day. it's a cafe and a pastel for one euro twenty. Yeah. And because it's Mar and Gaz's last day, it's going to be a double pastel day today, isn't it? <laughs> double, double trouble. Yeah. So if you want to try this on Mar and see what you think, Mar's already pre cinnamoned it. Are they warm or? It's like, yeah, they are. It's quite like warm. Cool. There's cinnamoning his up. It's like icing sugar. It's over here. Yeah. 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 The big ones are one euro fifty. This is coffee and a pastel for one euro twenty. Yum. <laughs> It's a lovely way to start the day. Start the week, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Monday morning. <laughs> a very, very, very foggy Monday morning here in Sitio. And as so often happens, three hours later, look at it, a beautiful bright blue sky. So heading down to Nazare for the last time for Mara and Gaza to do some last minute souvenir shopping. We've all got our togs. Hopefully lie on the beach and Let's the hit the day. beach, Nazare, yeah. yeah! It's the ungodly hour of 5.43 a.m. and they're off to America. Had a great time, guys. Going to America. <laughs> Gary's excited. <laughs> I would be as well if I was him. Yeah, you're so cool. Going to land home free. What about you, Ma? You excited? <laughs> it will be when I get my bloody shoes ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. Oh. I can't find my socks, I must have picked them. And we're heading back down to Lisbon with Victor again from the transfers. Yeah, Silver Coast transfers. So before Victor picked my own gas up from Orient Station, but mm. today we're going to Lisbon Airport. Yay! Yeah. Excellent. Down, this nice and comfy. Yeah, that's nice, that's yeah. theirs, yep. We've got more bags now than we had when we got here. There's loads of oh, good. Well, boot empty. space, trunk space for luggage. Yeah, lovely. Which is brilliant. It's an excellent ride down. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Awesome. Have a nice flight. Yeah, you have a good life. Thank you very much. Hopefully uh, they see you again sometime. Yeah. yeah. Next time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to go now with Mara and Gaz and help them take the stuff in just very quickly because there's only like a 10 minute parking zone. And yeah, then we'll come back and head back to Nazare with Victor and then he's got another job. So <laughs> very busy. It's all good. So cool. First time in an airport in three and a half years. It feels so strange. Wow. It's very nice. Wow. Lovely light and airy. Going to the States. Yeah. Here we go. If we go to America, take this off. It's working out where they need to check in. Come over and have a look at the departures. Okay. Quick look at the uh, departures board. I thought we'd never get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. so much fun. It's so cool to see family again. Like, we've yeah. seen any Kiwi family since it was March 2019. A long 2019. time, yeah. Hard to say goodbye, but, yeah. you know, awesome. Yeah. And uh, 
exciting to be in an airport. We are so looking forward to traveling again yeah. ourselves. It's gonna happen soon. Lee said, I've taken enough video footage of Via Brazil, but like, seriously, favorite restaurant in Nazaré. The last time we're gonna be here for a while, we're heading to Praia del Rey tomorrow for three months, and we may not be in Nazaré again for who knows how long, we'll see. So, here's my meal today. <gasps> Got a delicious churrasco misto. Seriously, absolutely love it. And there's the the pity pity, homemade pity pity. He's putting his oh, what a lovely smashing it on, yeah. And this is the carne estufada, so boiled meat with potatoes, we rice and salad, and we've got beans too. Yep, and we've both got a small jug of wine, the 250 ml. I've got the white. Lee's got the red. And one of the cool things at Via Brasil is they also sell Brazilian groceries. So for people who are craving a taste of Brazil, a taste of home or something different, there's loads of stuff here. The Via Brasil, yeah, always my first choice of places to come to in Nazaré for a delicious, tasty meal and it's always wonderful. It's going to be so sad to leave this place. I really do love it. Yeah. You know? That's very magical. And our favourite Brazilian restaurant where we've just eaten. So sad to leave there too. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I know, I know. Oh, no. oh well, onwards and upwards. Yep. Travelling on. Really excited about that, but one day we'll be back, I'm sure. Yes. This is one of the coolest camper van things I've ever oh. seen. And look at the back. I think I'm genuinely in love. So Lee, talk me through your favourite view in Portugal. <laughs> I just walked up the uh, Nazare steps for about the like, 20th time in the last three weeks and uh, this is what we're rewarded <laughs> with, a beautiful pea super over Nazare beach, Nazare below us, it no looks wonderful, today it's a bit misty. Isn't it? We've just had yeah, so many good days of it that I can't complain really too much. No. But wow. Still one of my favourite places. So thank you so much for watching. Yep. Please like and subscribe to follow more Frugal Travels. And comment as well, because it, it really helps our channel get noticed by the algorithm. You know, that whole YouTube thing. Thanks very much. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.